Hello and welcome back everybody my name is JTAC and today we have the LG Stylo 1 from Boost Mobile. Now the first thing you want to do on this device is you want to hard reset the phone by pressing down the volume down and the power together you want to hold them both down as soon as the phone vibrates or you see the LG logo appears you want to release the power button and rehold that same second so you can get to uh, recovery mode now while we're doing the hard reset guys I just want to give a big shout out to Chad thank you so much for letting me perform a video on your device uh, Chad my friends has uh, forgot his password on LG Stylo 1 uh, this method would work on a 5.1.1 or a 6.0.1 from Boost Mobile to be honest with you guys I haven't tried this method on the LG Stylo 1 from Metro PCS or T-Mobile so if you guys give that a go please put that in the comment below so I can also add the annotation in the video. Now as you guys can see I'm hard resetting the phone. Um, however because we want to remove the Google off the phone you want to make sure you factory reset the phone again for this method to work. Okay so now I'm just waiting for the device to come back up. Um, while we're doing this guys uh, thank you so much for all the previous support again for all the comments and the likes on my previous videos. As you guys can see I'm trying my best. Any phone or device that comes to mind you guys have a problem with please subscribe put the problem you have in with whatever device in your in the comment section below I'll be gladly I'll be doing videos for you posting them up on YouTube to help you out <coughs> as you guys can see factory hard factory reset on the phone doesn't really take long because it's only gonna optimize up to three apps and uh, as soon as we get the phone up and running right now you know, I just want to say sit tight and watch the video completely because this is going to take about a good 16 minutes. Now, as you guys can see, the phone is on. So, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, first is first, you want to press on accessibility settings. I already have the timer on the side, I'll show you why. Now, you want to go to uh, all the way at the bottom, scroll down to switch access. While it's off, you want to press on settings. Also, scroll down all the way to the bottom key combo for overview you want to press down the volume down while you have this menu up I'm showing you the volume down remember it's all the way in the back now watch closely to the screen key code volume down now it's already registered so you want to press ok at the moment press back now you want to turn it on press ok go back again now you can press next and connect your Wi-Fi safely just like so it's kinda easy to snap it out of the stand to put the password okay now that we have the phone connected the timer guys is just there for one reason just to count time because I wanted to show you that this might take up to seven minutes um, 7 minutes and about between 7 and 30 seconds to 7.45 seconds <coughs> okay now let me set the phone in the background let me set up the camera here for you nice okay so now I'm gonna press next and we're gonna wait for the Google verify sign in page whatever you wanna call it to appear you wanna accept this as, of course and I'm gonna fast forward fast forward through the long process but I just have the timer in the background so you see I don't cut through the video or none of that other stuff we always do legit stuff over here um, as you guys can see it's not requiring anything no SD card it's not gonna require you nothing however it's only gonna require you a good Wi-Fi connection and a Microsoft uh, account just like a Google account but a Microsoft account I'll be covering that in a second <laughs> So if you don't have an email from uh, Hotmail, you can go ahead and sign up for one. Uh, you will be needing it, needing it throughout the video, and I'll show you why. So now, as you guys can see, um, check in info. We want to wait for it until it says uh, Google sign in right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and press on the start and let it count down to seven minutes or whatever this takes. Because we are waiting for something to pop up on the screen here. So I'm about to fast forward the video. Here we go. Well, 
Okay, right about now guys, we're slowing down as you can see we're at already 7 minutes and 30 seconds Now the connection optimizer for Wi-Fi settings will appear on the screen exactly about seven minutes later That's uh, it's it's like a setup timer thingy on the phone here. We go as you guys can see it's already on the phone We didn't move the phone at all. So you when you get this menu um, Let me just take out the timer put it on the side you want to scroll down now. I'll be showing you in the video <coughs> You want to scroll down to what it says click here in the blue as you guys can see it's right there so as soon as we click here we want to uncheck uh, the default app I'll be also covering that in a second press on Google Chrome for now or browser you know whichever one you want to go f go with first it doesn't really matter so just press on that one time now connection optimizer because we didn't agree it's still gonna pop up again just like so you also want to scroll down again now you also want to press click here before you agree or anything you want to press on that again to open up the browser now I'm sorry we already opened up the browser we want to open up Google Chrome now accept and continue now you should get the connection optimizer screen again now you can just agree because um, we're done here we have both apps open as you guys can see now I'll show you that in a second that's why we already set up the key combo for the volume down in the beginning of the video <coughs> so now let's just go to Google verify everything is working correctly so far we're at 100% we're doing everything the correct way now the volume down is still set up for overview so let's press on that now as you guys can see we have Google Chrome open and web browser open from the phone these are two main apps so now you want to press on settings where you're on the browser okay now when you press on settings it will take you here you want to press on toolbar button combination it will give you extra couple options here I'm gonna press and hold on share and drag it right next to the home button press back twice now on the browser whatever you go any website you go to right at the bottom of the phone where you see the home button um, you also see the share button so far we're doing every, everything good I'm gonna press an overview go back to Google Chrome now now let me just go ahead and look up um, <coughs> we want to download an app called APK guys type in APK space P U R E space download okay that's a marketplace like basically a marketplace for downloading apps you we want to we want to download that as fast as possible for now um, as soon as you type that in you should get this menu just press on uh, right here what it says uh, APK pure APK download or install now you can just press on download APK right in the middle wait a second you should get something on the screen like so you want to press OK on that okay now the thing is already downloaded perfect now we know we have it in the file manager as long as you're following the exact steps you're good so you want to press on the volume down again now to get the overview pass again the overview screen now you want to press on browser now you're here remember that share button we set up uh, you want to press on the share button now now you want to press on email and guys that's where you need to sign in with your hotmail account or live account or Microsoft account whatever you know um, let me go ahead and sign in with my email now I'll be showing you why in a second let me go ahead and put my password give me one second guys here I'm just being comfortable here we go now you want to press next when you sign in with your hotmail account and you want to press next again you probably you just want to press next all the way until you get to the mail page or you know I'll be showing you also here in one second next four more time and I believe we have to press done here yes we want to press done and 
here we go now it's just like you're sending an email you want to press on the attach file up top the paper clip it'll bring up this menu now you want to press on file that's the only way we can access file command or file manager from the phone now eternal storage and download where we already downloaded the pure apk file so we want to press on that now as you guys can see it right here in the middle you want to tap it one more time this would pop up bring you to settings unknown sources of course to download something as a third party app okay for that and then now you want to press next install of course it shouldn't take long at all should be done any second now and we're almost done guys by the way we're almost done so go ahead this is done now we want to press open and the only reason I'm bringing you the, all this trouble to download the app we're about to download the last app which is uh, quick shortcut maker is because I want you to get the latest update of that file or that APK so you don't have any problems doing this I'm basically bringing you the best method out there I discovered personally I promise so now you want to press uninstall the first one make sure you have the same logo the yellow with the white hand on, on it pressing on the red button go ahead and download that for me press open now <laughs> and this is the final step guys so now you want to type in Google account manager um, it probably would pop up just like mine as soon as I put the ACC now Google account manager is right here you want to tap on that it's like a file is gonna expand if you pay attention so now we are looking for what it says they all look the same by the way you just want to look very close like try to count like you can always go back on the video and watch this again but you should see what it says type email and password two of them right and um, like top and bottom we want to use the bottom one okay now what it says try in the emblem you can press anywhere on the words launch whatever you're gonna get to this screen press on the three dots up top and browser sign in and okay and guys now you need to sign in with your own Google account or one you whatever like you can just make one and use sign in with that one if you don't have one this is basically what we are doing now is entering our own email address from Google to let the phone swap out the original one on the device when it was resetted I know a lot of stuff going on just please bear with me we're almost done we're, I promise so I'm putting my password now again just being comfortable taking uh, the phone off the screen now this is my email this is my long ass password we want to press sign in and now when this is done it's just gonna bring us right back to the app exactly right here now what you want to do guys is just restart the phone I'm sorry I'm not doing any more fast forwarding blah, 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 blah but I'm only doing this for your own benefits so you don't think we're skipping anything on you or we're being too fast okay so now what well, you just restarted the phone uh, give it a second the phone would pop up right away when the phone comes back on it will already have your own Google account in there you don't have to sign in basically that's what I'm saying okay um this also shouldn't take long at all guys I encourage you to go like the video I please I beg you to like the video subscribe for more phones devices whatsoever man if you ever need help you know where to put it down at the bottom go ahead press next twice now your Wi-Fi already logged in give it a second it should be connecting automatically next one more time let it check for connection this might take a minute it depends it depends on your Wi-Fi settings uh, your Wi-Fi speed I'm sorry because now it's uh, you know bringing the phone to your own Google account so you're good we're at about 660 subscribers I would definitely love it if you guys can go ahead and push through for a thousand for me uh, that would give me like a lot more time to upload videos for you 
I'm talking about weekly basis I'll be uploading like three a week trying my best as you guys can see now it says account added your first account is, is ready so basically the account we just entered was the original one now on the phone that's what at least the phone thinks finally this is the last step you want to press next and just confirm the settings now um, this is it you can set up your own lock screen you don't want to I'm just gonna skip that you can just agree for whatever now I'm just gonna also skip all this it's gonna bring me to the screen I'm just gonna agree next one more time the setup wizard is finally done and voila we are finished as you guys can see we have the home screen now the phone works in perfect condition we don't have any more problems with it um, I'm about to show you right now that I'm gonna go to settings show you my Google account the one I just entered in this video and my hotmail or live account the one I also just did in this video to sign up for a new hotmail account or live account you can find the link in the description guys it's really easy it shouldn't take any time at all it's probably easier to sign up from any other email company you can also back up and uh, factory reset the phone again just to make sure it deletes all the information we just put in if you're giving this back to somebody like myself I'm giving it back to Chad um, who left it by me to you know unlock his Google account thank you so much again and please guys like the video share and subscribe and if you guys have any other problems put that in the comment section below it's been Jay and you have a great day and Merry Christmas peace out